Saturday trip to the store. We're in Target right now. Mm. Here's the funny thing. I bought a TV four years ago. And I bought the biggest one that I could find then. I paid $6,000. So it's funny to see now 50 and 60 inch TVs for 1500 bucks, 1200 bucks. It's crazy. Oh, this is the one you were looking at? It doesn't look very fancy, it's just a box with two switches. Saturday afternoon, I'm gonna go to the shop and work for a couple hours. All right, the never-ending quest to see if we got paid. Here's the there's the thing that it's kind of unfair. I manufactured, shipped out this product a month ago. In one of the cases, I paid for shipping out of the country a month ago, and I have uh, 30 days to get paid. Those are our terms. And here we are. Nothing. Kids, running a business is not easy. It's a struggle every day. But you keep going and you try to learn to do it smarter and to do it better every day. But don't you know it kills me? All right, today I want to talk to you guys about haters. No, not haters. I mean, yeah, there are haters. Negative people online. People who comment negative things on on your stuff. There are the trolls, those are people that are just there to spread hate for different reasons. It could be personal, it could be more sinister, smear someone's name or reputation, uh, you know, they're getting paid or, you know. Those people should just be like, ignored, blocked, deleted. But then there are other people that mean well, but they, they are negative, they don't know it. They'll say things like, I am being constructive by telling you not to do something. Look, I understand everyone has opinions. I have a lot of opinions. Opinions are good. Some of the most popular YouTubers are popular because they have opinions and people like to listen to opinions. If you want to take advice from people, you need to learn to recognize which advice is good and which advice is not. Here's the thing. Um, I will read your opinion and I will evaluate it and, it, and if it applies to me, I will, I will take it. But if you're someone that says, you do it my way, or is the highway, then uh, I'm sorry, but it's, I'm not going to, that's not gonna work. If you're someone that's never made videos and you're gonna tell me how to make videos, I, if you're gonna say so-and-so did it that way, and so I think you need to do it that way because you're wasting your time with the way you're doing it, I might say like, what that guy is doing doesn't work for me. I can't make videos like Vsauce, for example. Vsauce has one of the most successful channels on YouTube and not a lot of people can copy him. Not a lot of people can recreate that recipe for doing it. I mean, this guy, I was, I couldn't do that. And so if I wanted to reach a, a same level of success, I definitely would not do it that way because that is not my path. I don't operate that way. I operate differently. My advice to everyone watching this is to do that. Be smart, learn to recognize whose advice to value and then take it and then try it for yourself. All right, it's Saturday. It's still early. I've got enough work done for the day. Let's go spend some time with the family. Watching the Mindy Project. So the Mindy Project was on Fox before, and then it got canceled, but then it got picked up 
by Hulu, which I guess is pretty cool because now we still get to see it. No, now it's like a whole half hour because there's no commercials. And well, there's like one commercial or whatever, but there was a time when we went to a shoot and Chris Messina was there and Mindy Kalen was there. And I got to shoot a bunch of pictures of them and stuff. So I'm gonna play the video now. All right, we're uh, on our way to the Hit Record Studios. We're gonna shoot some pictures today. Same time. Rock and no, 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 what is that? No, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> 